Shatterrecords.com. Yamane pearls from a retina surgeon. Doing a complete parts plan of a trachea makes this surgery much easier. Now we can see the beginning of the case, the patient is being marked here with a 180 degree marker, so you get the lens evenly positioned there. And so you've got two marks now at the limbus, 180 degrees apart, plus another one there at the top, so it's 90 degrees. And again, making your marks here so that when you place your trocars, you're going to have this um, IOL placed beautifully. So now I'm measuring two millimeters back and then two millimeters to the side. And this is going to make it a lot easier. Now, our guest surgeon here is a retina surgeon. And remember, Yamane is a retina surgeon. And by doing a complete pars plane and vitrectomy here, you're really able to have a lot more success with this procedure. So... Our guest surgeon here has decided that, you know what, he's doing a lot of these procedures. And he found that doing this with trocars instead of those thin wall 30 gauge needles makes it a lot easier. And he says it's gentler on the haptics. And remember, you don't want to break into these haptics. He says this technique, you can see he's going to leave the trailing haptic outside the eye while externalizing the first haptic. And then you can manipulate this haptic outside the eye to better position the leading haptic that's already in the eye. So here it goes, coming inside the eye here. And now as it goes in here, you can use the handshake technique which we've seen, which would be putting the micro forceps through that trocar. But here, we can, he's just injecting it like this inside the eye, leaving the one haptic outside the eye. And remember, it can dangle in the mid vitreous because a complete parts plane of vitrectomy has already been done here. So again, keeping the one haptic outside the eye so it doesn't fall back. Now looking with the retina viewing system, there's the other haptic in the mid vitreous, and he can just go ahead and grab that. We're actually mid vitreous cavity. So there is no vitreous in this eye. A complete parts plane of vitrectomy has been done. And once that's done, take a look here. You can externalize it. And now at the same time, pull out that trocar. And when you'll see, that haptic then comes out pretty nicely. So we'll do the other side as well. Now, the eye does not touch the retina, and you can also just adjust this. So if you externalize the haptic on the temporal side last, you can have a lot of maneuverability. And you'll see as he gets the trailing haptic going here, here it goes. Now, he's made a flange on the leading haptic, and that's already externalized, and that's going to hold it in place. Here's the retina viewing system again, looking back there, and then there is the haptic in the middle of the vitreous cavity, going back there, grabbing that. And then again, with the micro forceps, grabbing that. And then that can be externalized as well. And so now it's externalized here. Remember on these cases, though, the lens tends to sit in an effective lens position that's similar to being in the bag. I tend to aim on these eyes a little my of myopia. So don't aim for Plano. Aim for about minus one. I think you'll be pretty happy there. Now doing a little flange technique here on the end, creating a flange on that haptic, and then getting this positioned and this eye is going to do great. And so a nice procedure here for a retina specialist. Remember, you want to be able to do a full pars plane of vitrectomy if you're going to do this technique. And the patients have beautiful outcomes. You know, when anterior segments are do surgeons are doing Oyamane, sometimes they forget to do a thorough enough anterior vitrectomy. And with the manipulation of the lens, sometimes you can tie up some vitreous strands in the haptics. And that's why we've seen an increased rate of cystoid macular edema in some of these cases as done by an anterior segment surgeon. So if you want to refer these patients to your local retina surgeon, that's a fantastic idea too. Or if you want to try it yourself, you're more than welcome. I tend to prefer the teamwork approach. It makes life a whole lot easier. Remember, check out our podcast every week, a brand new podcast everywhere you find podcast services. You will learn so much, I promise.